Hey guys, my name is Rakshi and welcome to Long Gone Days. This is an RPG Maker game currently in development uh, and the demo has just released. For you guys, it has just released. I got an early demo version as you can see on screen right now uh, to get this video ready for you guys in time. Uh, if you want to play this demo for yourself, I will leave a link to the, in the description down below so you can check it out. The demo is entirely free. The game, in the end... Uh, is a commercial game though. Uh, I don't know what the pricing is going to be like or anything like that yet. But uh, yeah, you can try the demo out for yourself if you're curious what it's like. And uh, if you don't feel like playing it yourself, well, you're in luck because I will be playing through it, showing it to you guys as well so you can see what the game is about. So without further ado, let's start a new game. Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? From the day I was born, it was decided that I'd be a sniper. As soon as he could talk and understand orders, my training started. It was the same for every single one of my brothers. Or so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the Corps Army were things everyone knew about. But who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you have been spoon fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you, you just assume it's normal. But what use are those things I was taught during the past 22 years if I was ever taken away from the battlefield? If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. Day 1. Service Academy. Inside the core. I must say, by the way, the art in the opening cutscene was really nice. And I, I'm i a big fan of this pixel art style too. Visually, this game looks absolutely amazing. And it's really what caught my eye and when I, why I wanted to try this game out in the first place. Or what initially caught my eye. But the gameplay itself seems to be very interesting too. And I'm very intrigued to actually get into that and see what it's more like. Alright, let's continue. First thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian territories, even though it's separated from the mainland. Normally I teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation, any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not even tell them the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? Hmm. Tomorrow I'll be sent on deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go. But their previous sniper broke his arm, and I was transferred to this squad as a last minute replacement. You should also note that it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Those of you who have already been deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summers in Kalingrad range from 55F to 73F, but it still rains just as often as in any other season. I don't quite know... I, I'm, I'm so bad at converting Fahrenheit to Celsius and I use Celsius myself so I'm not quite sure how hot that is but I don't think it's super hot. As you'll be represent, representing the Polish army a zero tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? Hmm. I wish I had more time to prepare. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a good job like this. Private worker. Yes sir? You can find the briefing with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, just ask someone in your squad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's all for me. We're counting on you, soldiers. You're dismissed. Hmm, okay, so uh, we're a Polish soldier and we are invading Russia, it seems. Information about the Corps and Operation Pregolia have been added to workers' notes. You can access the notes tab from the menu. Oh, yeah, we don't want to go back. Okay, so 
we can open a menu um, and then we have items okay we have an energy bar heal some HP we have a sniper rifle very nice we don't have any armor or key items and uh, then we have some skills we have incendiary shot, shot fire explosive ammo main flick burn okay pretty cool our status Rook is a sniper from the core. While he isn't very social, he knows how to persuade others for his own benefit. Sarcastic, creative, impulsive. I wonder if those traits will play a role in the gameplay or if it's just uh, some flavor text essentially. Oh, and here we can have a lot of uh, extra information. Okay, the core is an extensive state strategically located below the surface of the earth. It's currently governed by Lieutenant Eugene Weisner under a stratocratic system. The Corps is proud to be able to offer its citizens an environment utterly exempt from poverty and unemployment, and more importantly, absolutely safe from the threats on the surface, while raising generations of experts capable of keeping the Corps as the only true self-sufficient state. And Operation Pregolia, which we're on going on now, the goal of this operation is offering support and aid to the Polish for forces in Kaliningrad. Kal Kaliningrad, I should say. For this operation, you'll be using the following items. Complete Polish army combat uniform and a new set of weapons in accordance to Poland's requirements. The 3rd and 4th squad will be in charge of taking over the first two bases. A new briefing will be handed once the first part is complete. Okay, well that's pretty cool. And then there's some options. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to exit. Okay, well let's just start walking around. Can we go in here? Uh, let's continue exploring a little bit more. Did you know you can update your info from the screen? Oh, so you can save. Those are save points. Okay, good to know. Man, good luck replacing Coil. That guy could shoot a pin from miles away. Yeah, we're fairly competent. I actually like sniping in first-person shooters, so it fits me. I could swear I saw one of the tomatoes moving. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to the guy who thinks tomatoes move. Do you think someone will notice if I don't shower? Uh, yeah, yeah, you should definitely shower. Can we go into the showers? No, we should train first. What's in here? The barracks. Okay, yeah, we should definitely train. Okay. Well, let's go over there and uh, start doing some training then. I suppose this should uh, get us more acquainted with some of the battle gameplay. Hmm, it's just pretty good. Focused. I'm checking something. Could you use the third boot instead? Oh yeah, my bad. And they are just uh, training. Okay. Well, let's start basic training. Hey, Rurka. Uh, hi. I noticed you were about to train with the basic targets. Why don't you activate the advanced ones? Um, to be honest, I don't remember how to use them. Really? Just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. It's pretty straightforward. Since you're this forgetful, remember they won't attack you. It would be ridiculous if they did. By the way, you should try these bullets. Oh cool, we get more incendiary bullets. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. This is going into a battle. Most enemies have multiple spots you can aim at, and every spot has different stats. These stats can be seen during target selection. Certain spots, like the head or body, will instantly end the fight if their HP reaches zero, while aiming at other spots can give you an advantage in battle, like lowering the enemy's evasion. To use kind, a kind of, any kind of special bullet, access the skills menu, the icon next to each Skill represents the cost, the first number is how many items you need, and the second number represents how many you own. Hmm, okay. So we can do attack, skills, guard. Guard probably does nothing since we are actually uh, in a fight against stationary ammo. So we can attack like legs, we can attack body, arms, or the head. So, so the head is hard to hit, but if you do it, we'll do a lot of damage and kill easily. Let's try it. No, we missed. Hmm. And body will probably hit. Yeah, we did some damage there. 
So we can just keep shooting at the body. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that takes down the enemy. Um, okay, should we use this? Main flick burn. I, I feel like I want to save that. I'm going to see if I can kill this guy with a headshot. If we can get a hit in? No. Hmm. That's really not hitting. What if we try to shoot its legs? And then, um, if we take those out, maybe he'll be... Yeah, his evasion has been lowered. So now we should maybe get a headshot or be able to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's an interesting tactic you'll have to keep in mind. Hey, you didn't use the bullets I gave you. Anyway, I gotta go now. I'll be in giving you instructions remotely tomorrow. Hmm, so she's our spotter, Branna. Hmm, okay, she could have said so. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take a shower now. And we now have information about the aim system. I, I feel fairly competent in using it. So let's go ahead and take a shower. I think I might miss these hot showers. I must be going crazy. I don't know, I'm a big fan of hot showers, so... I can imagine missing those. Hmm. It's my squad's medic. He should be able to give me some info about the operation. Uh, I believe his name was out of here. Maybe we should just call him medic or something. Um, you know what? I'm confident in your memory. Have we met? Uh, not really. I was just transferred yesterday to the first Fort Squad. Ah, so you're Coil's replacement. You haven't been deployed before, have you? No, it's gonna be my first time tomorrow. Oh. It's skipping the text. Like, I, I didn't press a button and just skip the text. That's a little bit annoying. You seem way too calm. Well, I have been waiting for this day for years. I've never even seen the sun before. Try not to start it too much. You don't want to go blind. Huh? You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I wouldn't get my hopes up. The surface is an awful place. Uh, would you lighten up a little? It's no time to relax. Mm, he seems very stern. Or an obnoxious little prick, I guess that works. I guess we can't talk with anyone else? Yeah. Okay, time to go to bed then. So, time for day two. Intercontinental platform inside the core. More than 15 hours have passed already. For the first time, I'm sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time, and it makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. The guys look wiped out, to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. I'm already in a cranky mood, and to make things worse, I'm sitting right next to this guy. The guy who didn't shower? Oh, no. To the medic. Hey. You just tried to get some sleep. You know, I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Screw this guy. Didn't you say this wasn't the time to relax? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Are you still mad about the thing I told you yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to... No, no, it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. Is that sarcasm? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass. As if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off. But let me save you the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean I'll take care of you first. So tell me, weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in the squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be your medic. Is that so? Well, I'm glad you're not cynical like the others. 
Hmm. Have I got news for you? We're probably more cynical than the bunch of them together. Uh, if you're still willing to listen to me, there are a couple of things I want to tell you about the surface, since you were transferred so suddenly. I'm guessing you haven't been properly introduced. Yeah, we just got the briefing, so yeah, take a guess. Really? Well, you seem so curious about the sun, I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I really don't know if the sun could leave you blind, but what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol on, a, on an open wound. You can even toast your skin. It's quite fascinating. Why is he talking? It's been like five minutes. So yeah, based on that, don't look at it too much. Hmm, sounds like the service was awfully designed. Yeah, whoever designed this so awfully? Like, who? Right? Okay, well, let's not get into that whole debate. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. I mean, if you live underground, you probably wouldn't be capable of dealing with the sun very well at all. But what's that? Did we arrive? Uh, the lights went out. We've arrived. Everyone get ready. We're opening the hatch. As soon as the door that separated us from the outside world opened, a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. My uniform got all damp. It got glued to my body, as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. The surface is gross. Hmm. Ravens are used as saving points. Interact with them to save your progress. Okay. Well, we can do that. It says save. Oh yeah, we have plenty of save files. Can we walk on here? No. And we can't run right now either. I guess walking through a swamp just goes pretty slowly. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. See those buildings up ahead? We'll set up camp there, but we need to clean the area first. We've sent out the drones, and we're currently analyzing the area. So far, there are around 30 targets. We need to act fast. I know you must be fatigued, but this should be an easy task for the fourth squad. Any questions? Go to your positions. Hmm, okay. Music is good too. I, I, I'm, I'm loving this game completely. Rorka, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, what's up? Can you see the enemy base from there? Let's see. Yes, we can. I see a couple of buildings. Okay, listen. The signal jammer has been deployed. We're now about to cut off their power supply. After the power's been cut off, that will be your chance to attack. Sure, leave it to me. I'll go to my position. Okay, so we should hide in this bush. And let's see what we can see. There's no way the enemy didn't notice that. Rorka, you should be able to see four targets from where you are standing. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Ooh, okay. So let's see. Is this one? This one ran. Got it. There should be two more. One more. There we go. The area is clear. Get down the hill. You should be able to get the better view of their base. Wait, why did it switch back to soldier rather than Brana? On my way. Oh, I should uh, climb down here, down this rope. Hmm. I wonder if there's a lot you can find by exploring. I haven't really done a lot of it. Alright, we need to stay hidden. This spot should work. We're a sniper, of course, so it makes sense that we would stay hidden. Um... There's you, there's you, there's you, 
Anyone else? There's you. <laughs> Way too easy. No wonder everyone thinks highly of Coil. Shouldn't meet with the rest of the team. Is everyone here? I want you all to explore every building and every alley. Any target kept life is a threat to the operation. Go, go, go! Hmm, okay, well that was really easy, but I suppose now we may run into some close range combat. The building is empty, but you never know if they have some sort of a secret bunker. Sure. But yeah, we should keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, let's uh, save. Why not? doesn't hurt to save. Apparently this is where the enemy stores their supplies, but the captain won't let us inside. I'm starving and I already ate my rations. Did you still have yours? Uh, no, I ate all of them. Sorry. Oh, we can't enter there. I mean, I don't want to give you my healing items, because I'm probably going to need those. An enemy? He's going away! Chase after him! It's really fast. Oh, I found something. Alcohol. Not sure how that will come in helpful, but... I suppose we'll find out later. Did you see the enemy come by? Throwing an enemy in his own base. Yeah, seems like a very obvious trap. See someone pass? Can't see a thing, honestly. It's too dark. Hi, uh, you're useless. Can we at least go inside here? No one inside. Okay, I see. Road ends up ahead. Hmm. Ooh, nice. We found some hidden bullets. Yep, he went up there for sure. This is dangerous, so... Doors are locked, it seems to be empty. Mm. He ran into a wall. This is especially easy. Am I gonna get ambushed? This has to be an ambush, right? Wait, what's this? What? What? This is definitely a kid. There's no way he'd be armed. Sir, I found a kid. He seems to be alone. Did you shoot sure him? What? No, but he's really scared, sir. Then what are you waiting for, soldier? Sir, he's just a kid. I. Oh, for fuck's sake! Don't question your chain of command, you damned boot. Poor kid. Man. <sighs> just wrong place at the wrong time, I suppose. Anything in these containers? Doesn't look like it. Well, guess we're gonna walk back. 